And also a county high school baseball and assistant basketball coach is in jail tonight. Yes. Samuel Figuera was arrested over allegations of sexual misconduct with students. West News' Megan Mulatto joins us live from Celebration High School. Where that coach work and Megan, he just resigned last week and we're hearing there were multiple teenage students who came forward. Yeah, officials with the Osceola County School District say 43 year old Samuel Figueroa resigned on Monday after working here at Celebration High School since 2018. They tell us this year he worked as a baseball coach as well as an assistant girls basketball coach. Several brave female students have come forward to talk about their encounters with Mr. Samuel Enrique Figueroa. Osceola County Sheriff Marco Lopez says several teenage girls ranging in age from 15 to 18 years old have come forward about Figueroa's alleged behavior. He says two of them claim to have been touched inappropriately. A third is saying Figueroa asked her to send nude photos. Others say he made sexual remarks about their bodies. He has abused his power. He's abused his position and is a sexual deviant who was lurking in our schools. Thanks to the brave students for coming forward and exposing this guy for the monster that he is. Sheriff Lopez says investigators have evidence backing their claims, including photos and messages. We reached out to the school district for comment. They sent us a statement saying the school is encouraging students to talk to a trusted adult if needed. Guidance counselors and administrators are also available to help. We're there to protect them. You know, we're not there to victimize them or groom them or do things that go out of the school uh, teaching curriculum. That's not what we're supposed to be there for as adults, as teachers, as anybody in these type of positions. Figueroa is now facing a number of charges, including lewd and lascivious behavior, conduct, and touching of minors. The sheriff says there could be other victims out there. He's encouraging anyone else who may have experienced this or something along these lines to come forward. We're live in celebration. Megan Mulatto, West 2 News.